This is Bethel Advocate here with Marie Andrus, part four, the last part of making raviolis, and they are made. The best part of making ravioli is eating them, and what we have here is the finished product. So I took our nice little raw ravioli from this pink tablecloth with uh, my helpers transporting them on a wooden board to a shallow pot of boiling water. Now, the water is not furiously boiling. I did not turn them into a huge colander when they were done. How do I know they were done? They float to the top, they turn from pale yellow to white, and you can see that the filling has stiffened. They do not take long, 10 minutes at most. I actually hand carried them out of the pot with a spatula rather than dump them in a strainer. The whole point here being to be as gentle as possible and not at the last moment have them break and fall apart. Having done all that, we fix them with a very nice tomato sauce that had simmered with wine and sausage. And you can see that when I go to serve them, I wouldn't be digging into the bottom as I might with pasta. I would look to sort of glide over the top and pick them up gently. And of course, after all that work, we need a little celebration with a tomato and meat based dish like this. You can't go wrong with many of the lovely Cabernet Sauvignons that we have in our area. This one is a Joseph Phelps insignia and enjoy. And Bethel Advocate thanks Marie Andrus. This has been Cooking with Marie.